Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see about the hard cash problem from February long challenge 2020. So let's understand the problem first. There are n bags with coins in a row. For each valid i, the i th bag contains ai coins. So these are the coins that we have. Okay. We have five bags and each bag we have some number of coins. Fine. We have given an integer k. So this is k that is given to us. Okay. What we have to do is we need to make each and every bag the number of coins in each and every bag divisible by k for that the operations that they have provided is nothing but we can take some number of coins from the first c number of bags okay and give those coins or some of those coins to the last n minus c number of remaining bags okay suppose we take x number of coins from here so we can give some number of coins from these x number of coins for example if we take five coins from this we can give three coins here to make them divisible by seven as well to make all of them div divisible by seven so how many coins are remaining we have two coins remaining this is nothing but the value of r that is the remaining number of coins we need to find out the minimum value of r okay suppose if we take 13 coins from here and give seven coins here okay so the remaining value is six okay so this is the value of r that is the number of remaining coins fine so we need to find the minimum value of r okay so given these all values let's see how the question will be solved fine the constraints are pretty simple the t is 10 to the power of 3 n is 10 to the power of 5 okay and ai can be 10 to the power of 9 and k can be 10 to the power of 9 fine so these are the subtask and for this particular test case the solution that they have provided is uh, from the first four coins from the first four bags okay remove one coin from this zero from this four from this and 13 from this okay so if i remove all these coins so what is the remaining values so the remaining values are zero here 14 here zero here and i think this is nothing but 28 okay so these all are divisible by 7 0 mod 7 will give me a 0 okay 14 mod 7 will give me a 0 so they are divisible by 7 fine and we can give some coins to this to make this also divisible by 7 okay so how many coins can we give here we can give 6 coins also we can give 13 coins also okay so if we give 6 coins how many coins we have taken so 13 plus 4, 4 uh, 14 14 plus 4 18 so in total we have taken 18 coins okay if i give 6 coins in this this will become divisible by 7 definitely it will become 7 okay but the remaining coins will be 18 minus 6 that is nothing but 14 okay if i give 13 number of coins so this will become 14 okay this will also be divisible by, divisible by 7 and 18 minus 13 will become how much just 5 so which is minimum r 14 or 5 the minimum r is nothing but 5 so therefore we will be giving 13 number of coins to the last one okay so what we did was we took 18 number of coins from the first c bags which c value is equal to 4 and we gave one uh, 13 coins to the last n minus c remaining bags okay and the remaining minimum remaining is nothing but 5 so this was the problem statement understanding fine we just need to find out the minimum value of r and it is pretty simple okay so let's now see the logic behind it and then the code so let's see the logic and it is pretty simple straightforward logic that each and every of these numbers finally should be divisible by 7 so each number should be mod 7 should become equal to equal to 0 okay they should be divisible by 7 so if each number is divisible by 7 then their sum also should be divisible by 7 so if i have 7 plus uh, 14 then i have 21 and i have uh, 7 again and 0 so if they all numbers are divisible by the given k k equals to 7 and if i sum all these numbers that also will be divisible by 7 obviously it is 14 plus 14 that is 28 and 21 that is nothing but 49 and 49 is also divisible by 7 so whatever operation i perform that whatever coins i give uh, i take from the first c coins and give it to the last uh, n minus c remaining bags all these numbers finally will become divisible by 7 and the sum will also be divisible by 7 okay so what we just need to do is just find the sum of the first five values first given values okay first n given values okay and do the mod and that will give us the remaining number of coins that how many coins we need to actually remove from these bags that's it that's it, the simple logic for this particular question so if i have 1 plus 14 uh, what will be the sum here it is nothing but 18 
uh, 90, 20 and 41. 41 plus 20 will give me 61. So we have 61 total number of coins. Okay. So to make it divisible by 7, what is the remaining value? It is nothing but 61 mod 7, which is nothing but 5. Okay. It becomes 56. So it is nothing but 5. Fine. So what is the answer for this case? Nothing but 5 that we have already seen. Fine. So what we have to do, just, just understand this point that each and every number will become divisible by 7 at the end. Okay. If each and every number will become divisible by 7, then their sum also will be divisible by 7. Okay. So sum mod 7 should give me 0. Okay. At the end. Now, if I sum all the values in the beginning and do mod 7, it will give me some remainder value. And that is nothing but our answer. Okay. That means how many number of coins we need to remove from these bags and make them multiple of 7. Okay. So this is a particular case. So just simple logic that sum all the values mod 7 and that is the answer for this question. A, a simple mathematics. You should just observe these points. Take some examples and you will observe these points. Okay. Now uh, just what need to take care of one more point that the elements can be as weak as 10 to the power of 9. So when we sum all these values uh, and n is nothing but I think 10 to the power of 5. So if we sum all these values, so it will be definitely be greater than the integer range. So use long in the case of Java and long long in case of C and C++. Fine. So if you just see here the constraints, yes, these are the constraints. Fine. And I, finally, when you sum, just do mod k and that is the particular answer. So let's see the code for this. So here is the code. Take n, take k, long sum equals to 0. This is in Java. Uh, sum all the inputs. Okay. And finally, just see somewhat k and that whatever this is the remainder that is the answer that we need for this particular question okay a simple straightforward question thank you